Hi everyone, and welcome to this quick tutorial to show you how to create a, a piece of Python code that's going to make sure that all rebars always remain visible and unobscured in views. So this tutorial is going to require you to have a look at my blog, which is on um, revitstructureblog.wordpress.com. And also, you need to ensure that you have Revit 2017.1 available, and also have the Dynamo player available as well. Now, when you install Revit 2017.1 on the Manage ribbon, you should notice that you have Dynamo and Dynamo player available. So before we get going, I'd like to explain um, what this is actually going to do for us, the benefits of this tool. So if I just set our view to wireframe just for the minute, when you first create reinforcement bar inside Revit, you'll notice that it's shown as a single line. And also, we don't show the full diameter of the bar. We just show, show one line there. The other thing that's going to happen is when I shade the view, because the reinforcement bar is inside the view, or inside the concrete, should we say, you'll notice it's uh, obscured. Now, the way around this is as follows. We would have to select the reinforcement bar. In the Properties panel, select View Visibility States. Confirm the view that we're um, showing this in. So in this case, I have my active view, which is 3D RC. So I'll now say View Unobscured, and also View as a Solid. So what that does is you can now see in this view, we have the bar shown at its full diameter and as a solid. If I change the uh, view here to shaded, you can see that it, although the bar is inside the concrete wall there, it's still shown. OK, now that's quite time consuming. Every new piece of reinforcement bar you create, you've got to go back through that procedure. So what I'm going to show you here is the use of Dynamo Player. So we can select Dynamo Player. That then starts this uh, dialog box up. You simply browse to the folder that contains all your Dynamo scripts, as you can see through here. Then what we do is we go ahead and find our script. In this case, I've called it set rebar as solid. And all I need to do is hit play there. And what Dynamo is now going to do, or Dynamo player is now going to do, is apply this to the active view with one click of a button. And there we are. You can now see the result of that. Just to show you again, if I go into another view here, and I run the same command, you can see that now works a lot quicker. Yep, and there's all our view. Yep, all our reinforcement bar shown. Okay, so what I'd like to do is go through the steps of creating this script for you. So let's start by clicking on the Dynamo command. So let's manage Dynamo. So this will create a new session of Dynamo for you. If it's the first time you've used Dynamo, you'll have to close down a few little dialog boxes that might pop up in front. Okay, so here's Dynamo. So I'm going to now uh, click on the new command. And our first task here is to tell Revit to, or to tell Dynamo to get uh, the category structural rebar. So this area here is called the node library. In the node library, I'm going to expand Revit. I'm going to expand selection. And I'm going to put out categories. Now in the categories node here, as you click it, you can see that we have a list of all the categories here. There's quite a lot going on here. So I'm just going to type in structural to help me locate this data quicker. And I'm looking for structural rebar. Now, I want Dynamo to grab all those reinforcement elements. So I'm going to say all elements of category and wire those together. Now, I only want it to actually grab the reinforcement bar in the active view. OK, so I'm going to set another node here called all elements in active view. Now, as you start to type this in, you'll see um, Dynamo goes ahead and finds that command. So it's all elements in active view. And what's going to happen here is this node will actually pick up everything. So you can see here, I've got walls, I've got the stairs, floors, as well as reinforcement. So what we can do here is we can set an intersection. So the intersection is going to find the intersection between the two lists. So if I feed this list in first, this list in second, anything that's consistent through those lists will be formed into a new list. 
So of course now that's a quick way of getting all the reinforcement bar in my active view. Okay, there it is. Right, so that's the first part of my script. The second part is to actually get the active view from the document. So the first thing I want to do is type in document. Okay, and what this is going to do is get the current document. Okay, so there's the current document there. Now I want to get the uh, document active view. Yep, so in this case, I've just typed in document active and you can see I can reference active view. Okay, and what it's now doing is telling me that the 3D working model is the active view inside Revit. And you can see that that, that tallies with what we're seeing on the screen here. Okay, so if I change the view here, now we've got just the 3D view. You will find that sometimes this doesn't update. So what you could do is you can just temporarily unwire it and we we wire it in and you can now see that picks up the active view once again. Now, you'll notice in the world, well, you'll see a bit later on when we create our Python script that the script really needs to accept a list. And that's the reason for that is if I wanted to put more views in to the Python code, I could do and it would be a list. So I'm going to create a new list. And of course, in this particular script, there's only going to be one um, entry into that list. But, you know, if I wanted to set several views to become unobscured and set solid, I could do that. And of course, now we have a list. So the next bit is to actually create the Python script itself. To get the Python script, you can copy and paste this off of my website. That's um, revitstructureblog.wordpress.com. Okay, you'll find the link in the YouTube video here. So what I'm going to do is first type in Python. And we're going to select Python script. This is going to require two inputs. Of course, I want all of the reinforcement bars that we've just isolated here. And of course, I also want the active view to apply this to. So to open up the, the Python script editor, we can simply double click on this part of the node. And here's my edit Python script. So I'm going to start by deleting the existing script in the dialog. And like I say, you can copy and paste this off of my, um, my website. So in this example, I'm just using Notepad here. So I do Control C, Control V. OK, and there's our Python script in. Now, I'll just give you a very quick example of what this Python script's doing. So the first few lines up here are really referencing the Revit, Revit API. And the reason why it's adding a reference to the Revit API is, and you can see down here, I'm actually telling um, the, the Python here to set all the rebars unobscured in view and set them solid in view. So, of course, I need to better access the Revit API to do that. And here in this section of the code, we're basically saying that uh, rebar elements equal the input here. So um, Python is unwrapping the inputs into zero and also unwrapping the inputs into one, which are the views. Notice the plural there. So it is expecting a list. OK, and then this is reading that data. Good. So at this point, then we'll be able to now wire this data in. Now, as I do this, I'm going to just show you the effect of running this here. So let's start by deleting the 3D view and we'll recreate a new one. Okay, and the reason I'm going to do this is to reset the view, as you can see there. Just take the analytical model off. Okay, so if I now wire these together, like so, let's just rewire that through again. Okay, and you can now see the Python nodes run mustn't forget to actually switch the detail level to fine in order to see the reinforcement bar and there we have it there's all our rebar so pretty quick now of course all you need to do is save that as a script into a folder and then dynamo player can target that but another um, example is you could actually publish this as a um, as a dynamo node so you can see in here that we can create a new custom node and we could push this into one custom node in dynamo if we wanted to okay that's it so um hope you found that useful and hope to see you soon thanks very much